Vitamin D is a crucial nutrient that helps your body absorb calcium and phosphorus, which are essential for building and maintaining strong bones. It is used to treat and prevent bone disorders such as rickets and osteomalacia. Vitamin D is naturally produced by the body when the skin is exposed to sunlight, but factors like sunscreen, limited sun exposure, and dark skin can prevent adequate production. In addition to its role in bone health, vitamin D with calcium is also used to treat or prevent bone loss, known as osteoporosis. It can also be used in combination with other medications to treat low levels of calcium or phosphate caused by certain disorders, such as hypoparathyroidism and familial hypophosphatemia. Furthermore, in kidney disease, vitamin D is used to maintain normal calcium levels and support healthy bone growth. For breastfed infants, vitamin D drops or supplements are recommended as breast milk typically contains low levels of vitamin D. The recommended dosage of weekly D1250 mg, 50,000 unit, capsule vitamin D and the optimal time to take it may vary based on individual needs and health conditions. It is important to consult with a healthcare professional to determine the appropriate dosage and timing for your specific situation. When taking weekly D1250 mg, 50,000 unit, capsule vitamin D, it's best to take it by mouth as directed. It's recommended to take it after a meal, but you can also take it with or without food. If you're prescribed this medication, be sure to follow your doctor's directions. Your dosage will depend on your medical condition, sun exposure, diet, age, and response to treatment. If you're using the liquid form, make sure to measure the dose carefully using a special measuring device or spoon. Do not use a household spoon. If you're taking the chewable tablet or wafers, chew thoroughly before swallowing. And if you have the rapidly dissolving tablets, place each dose on your tongue, allow it to dissolve completely, and then swallow it with saliva or water. It's important to take this medication regularly to get the most benefit from it. If you're taking it once a day, try to take it at the same time each day. If you're taking it once a week, be sure to take it on the same day each week. It may help to mark your calendar as a reminder. If your doctor has recommended a special diet, such as one high in calcium, be sure to follow it to get the most benefit from the medication and to prevent serious side effects. And it's important not to take other supplements or vitamins unless ordered by your doctor. If you have any concerns or think you may have a serious medical problem, it's important to seek medical help right away. It's important to note that at normal doses, weekly D1250 mg, 50,000 unit, capsule vitamin D usually has no side effects. However, if you experience anything unusual, it's best to contact your doctor or pharmacist right away. If your doctor has recommended this medication for you, it's because they believe that the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. Many people who use this medication do not experience any serious side effects. But it's important to be aware that taking too much vitamin D can lead to harmful high calcium levels. If you notice any signs of high vitamin D slash calcium levels such as nausea slash vomiting, constipation, loss of appetite, increased thirst, increased urination, mental slash mood changes, or unusual tiredness, it's crucial to inform your doctor immediately. Although rare, a very serious allergic reaction to this drug can occur. If you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction such as rash, itching slash swelling, especially of the face slash tongue slash throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help right away. It's also important to know that this is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you experience any other effects not mentioned here, it's best to contact your doctor or pharmacist. And remember, if you're in the US, you can call your doctor for medical advice about side effects, or report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can call your doctor for medical advice about side effects, or report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before starting weekly D1250 mg, 50,000 unit, capsule vitamin D, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies to vitamin D products or inactive ingredients in the capsules. Also, be sure to discuss your medical history, especially if you have high calcium slash vitamin D levels, trouble absorbing nutrients from food, kidney disease, or liver disease. 
If you are using liquid, chewable, or dissolving tablet forms of this medication, be aware that they may contain sugar, aspartame, or alcohol. This is important to consider if you have conditions such as diabetes, liver disease, or phenylketonuria, PKU. It's best to consult your doctor or pharmacist about using these products safely. If you are planning to have surgery, it's essential to inform your doctor or dentist about all the medications and products you are using, including weekly D1250 MCG, 50,000 unit, capsule vitamin D. For pregnant women, it is recommended to use doses of vitamin D greater than the recommended dietary allowance only when clearly needed. Make sure to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. If you are breastfeeding, it's important to consult your doctor before using this medication, as it can pass into breast milk. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could affect how your medications work or increase your risk for side effects. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. This includes prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products. It's important to not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with weekly D1250 MCG, 50,000 unit, capsule vitamin D include burosumab and phosphate binders. Additionally, it's important to check the labels on all your prescription and non-prescription slash herbal products, such as antacids, laxatives, and vitamins, as they may contain calcium, magnesium, phosphate, or vitamin D. It's best to ask your pharmacist about using these products safely. It's important to note that vitamin D is very similar to calcitriol, so it's advised not to use medications containing calcitriol while using vitamin D. Lastly, it's important to be aware that this vitamin may interfere with certain lab tests, such as cholesterol tests, which could lead to false results. Make sure to inform lab personnel and all your doctors that you use this vitamin. If someone takes too much weekly D1250 MCG, 50,000 unit, capsule vitamin D and experiences severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, they should call 911 immediately. Otherwise, they should contact a poison control center right away. In the U.S., residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. Canadian residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include seizures, confusion, and irregular heartbeat. It's important to take the recommended dosage of weekly D and not exceed it to avoid these potential risks. It's important to have regular medical tests while taking weekly D1250 MCG, 50,000 unit, capsule vitamin D to monitor your calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus levels. Make sure to keep all your medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. You can also get vitamin D from foods such as fortified dairy products, eggs, sardines, cod liver oil, chicken livers, and fatty fish. Remember to maintain a balanced diet to ensure you're getting enough vitamin D from different sources. If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it's close to the time for your next dose, just skip the missed one. Take your next dose at the regular time. Do not take a double dose to make up for the missed one. When it comes to storing your vitamin D supplements, it's important to keep them at room temperature and away from light and moisture. However, if you have alpha-calcidol drops, it's best to store them in the refrigerator, making sure not to freeze them. Remember to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. And when it comes to getting rid of your weekly D1250 MCG, 50,000 unit, capsule vitamin D, make sure not to flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. Instead, it's best to properly discard the product when it's expired or no longer needed. And if you're unsure about how to do this, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.